Bay State running here with Grace Hennepin of Burlington. A double winner here in the long jump and the 55 meter dash and second in the 300. So a very good day for you. Thank you. 19, one and a half in the yes. long jump, 7.31 in the 55 meter dash in just over 40 seconds in the 300. Yeah. Um, are these all PRs? I know you, you said in the prelims you got a PR in the 55, right? It was a PR in the 55 and long jump, but not a PR in the 300. But still a very good day. Um, talk about the day. Uh, yeah. Is it difficult for you to do all three events? Just keep yeah. hopping around. It's definitely like tiring because the 55 and long jump going back and forth isn't like, isn't, isn't that difficult? It's definitely tiring, but I feel like I can like catch my breath faster, but then doing six jumps and running twice before the 300 was definitely hard. So I didn't do like as well as hoping, but I'm so proud of my time. So, so let's talk about the dash. Uh, did you get a good start out of the box? Uh, it was a good start. It wasn't as good as I was like hoping, but it definitely was a good start. So that's a event that seems to be loaded this year. I yeah. mean, it seems like just, I think at least 10 of you guys yeah. in that seven, one, seven, three range. Mm -hmm. What's your goal next week in the Mita Champions? Uh, I hope to do really well in the 55 and 300 and then hopefully first in the long jump. What do you think you need to do to get out on the podium next week in the, in the, in the dash? Let's start with the dash. Definitely have a good start because I have, I think my finish is my strongest part, but I definitely need to work on my start, I think, to, to like run a faster time. And are you the top ranked long jumper right now? Yes, I think so. Yeah. Um, so what do you think you could do in the long jump? Are, are you thinking even... Nineteen and a half, or, or I hope so. I mean, that'd be the goal going into it's a PR. Yeah, and how has that been going throughout the season? The long jump. Have you generally been in this 18, 19 foot range? The beginning of the season, I was mostly 16, 17, but then towards the end, I was like, I mostly didn't jump under 17, and I was pretty good at jumping 18 a few times. But this is my first time jumping in the 19s. So beginning of the season, doing 16, 17, and now you're at 19. Yeah. What did you do differently or what, what, what made the, such a big jump? I had to focus more on using my arms and especially waiting as long as I can before putting my feet down on the ground. Okay, um, well congratulations on all your victories today. Well, all your uh, top finishes too. Thank you. And uh, good luck next week. Thank you.